Thank you. Let me start by giving you some numbers. In 2015, 19.5 million students joined university across the European Union, distributed along bachelor's, master, and doctoral studies. 11.9% of these students were here in the UK, where we invest significant amount of money in infrastructure for studies and education. 0.5% of the GDP, to be precise. And you can find similar numbers all around Europe on investment for this. Despite all of this, we fail to capitalize this. We fail to create value. We have nearly 20 million students joining universities every year. And yet we don't manage to create the new Leonardos, the new Graham Bells, the new Galileos at scale. <laughs> universities should be providing the ecosystem necessary to drive creative knowledge and original discoveries. The main objective of university is to educate and create research. It is to push students and researchers to the cutting edge of thinking. It is to provide an ecosystem needed for critical and creative thinking. It is to challenge the way we do things right now. After 12 years in university, I can see that both education and research are far from achieving this. Students are rarely challenged to collaborate with different environments and to share their ideas. This is essential to connect ideas. In the 21st century, most of you students come to university and you're used to interaction with the use of social media, it's instant action, reaction. Yet, you put yourself on a time machine and go back in time once you're sitting in a university classroom and you're just there, listening. There is no interaction. On the research side, I see that there is a profound disengagement between researchers or academics and the core management structures. This creates an environment that strongly disincentivizes innovation. As well, we don't collaborate with different industries, and we certainly do not collaborate among our internal faculties and research uh, centers. When I was doing my master's degrees and my bachelor's, I had the opportunity to learn from professors who were actively doing research on the topics they were, uh, they were teaching us. The way my university approached learning was very different from traditional universities. It was called the project-based learning. At the beginning of each course, we were challenged with a real-life research problem. And by the end of the course, we had to provide a technological solution, original solution, as part of a final project. For every course during my five years of bachelor and master's. By creating knowledge through researching, we cultivate creativity and we bring our students to think critically, which nurtures innovation. That was planted in all of us during our masters and bachelors. Universities should bring students to be a part of the major disruptions we are living nowadays. If students are part of this, then they will be nurtured by research and innovation from day one, and they would like to join us in the role of academic research. After four years of working in academia, I finished my PhD. And I found myself that most of that time, I was working on complex mathematical analysis that probably no one will understand, and building technological solutions that the industry will never look at. Kind of a loss of time, right? Not really. <laughs> anyway, this was very good for publishing. And if there is any academic here in the room, they will understand when I say that our major milestone is not disruption, is to publish. No matter what, deadline is approaching, we have to publish something. Well, to me, that's not innovation, that's not disruption, and certainly that does not help society understand why we are building these complex systems. My next role in academia was far more appealing. 
we actually went out to the world and start asking people, why do you need technology? How can technology help your everyday business? We were talking to the artists, to the doctors, to the engineers, and tell them, how can we make technology generate value in your everyday business? I was finally working in the highly dynamic, innovative, and creative environment that I thought academia was. Well, I didn't have much time to publish. It is very difficult to publish this kind of work in renowned journals. And also, all the grants I was working on, they, were, they went to somebody else to be managed, essentially because I am not a lecturer. So according to university rating standards, I had achieved very little in these two years. Based on my experience, I see the main problem of universities and academic research being the following. The way we value academic research is based on publications, citations, and grants. Now let me ask you this question, and let's think about it. How do we disrupt industries from academia doing this? How do we put the best minds in the world, assuming they are still in university, to solve real life problems that can help both society and industries? More importantly, how do we do all of this while being a lecturer? Well, I'd like to challenge that. I think that I have achieved more technological disruption in these two years at King's College than all my accumulated work in the past. I think that when you engage with industries, you establish your research priorities, and it helps you to be the first ones on many things. I also think that universities are the ideal environment to disrupt industries and create new ideas. We offer a neutral position we don't want a commercial outcome. We want to change things how the way are done. If we engage with industries, they are so rigid that their commercial outcome is so important that they will never change current business models, approaches, or even think about creative new solutions. So we can educate creative thought in both society and industry. And the most important part of all we have access to skill set. The same way I was attracted by university, searching for a dynamic, innovative, and changing environment, we have a fresh new batch of 20 million students joining university every year with similar interests. Let's motivate them. At the same time, I see many advantages of changing the way we approach research in universities. First of all, we can increase branding, build profile, and increase credibility. While doing the complicated math and writing papers, it is important. If we are not able to make society understand why we are doing this, it loses its value. For example, you can write a paper about haptic communications using software-defined networks, or you can go ahead and build a system and show the world how a surgeon can do robotic surgery and still feel the sense of touch. We have done that. And the public was amazed when they could see what technology could achieve. We also wrote the paper as well. But it's important to have the two sides of the story. Once we have increased branding, we have built our profile and our credibility is good, then industries will come and work with us because they want our creative and critical thinking. And that, in the end, is formed in strong collaboration, strong partnerships. And these are private funded projects for universities, which lets us have more people, more researchers working with us. Ultimately, universities want to be leaders, which in the end, is having a high number of students enrolling every year and being the forefront of research. So if we bring our students and make them work on real life problems, it means that we are creating the skill set that the market needs. 
and eventually students will like to come and work with us just because we are fulfilling that objective. Take for example the MIT and the Media Labs culture of demo or die versus the publish or perish of regular academia. It's something to think about. So with all of this, what I, my, my, my message here is that we have to work together, academics and core university structure, and to understand that we are here to help each other, to help us grow. It has to be a win-win case. Let's change the way we recruit talent. As I said, not everyone wants to be a lecturer, but yet we want to work in academic research. The way university values our work when we are focused on outreach rather than in publications limits our career and we are forced to leave. Let's build processes, administrative processes that are flexible enough to let us grow, to let us adapt to the dynamism of technological disruption of nowadays. And by this, I mean changing the entire structure of administrative procedures within universities. We produce more science graduates and PhD students than the academic positions can fill. At the end of the day, we have a lot of talent that has no clear path. If we embrace this, if we change the way we, we educate, if we change the way we approach research, then we can have a place for all these people and then we can disrupt, we can disrupt technology we can build new companies. Let's change the way we teach. Let's change the way we recruit talent. Let's change the way we approach academic research. Because one thing is true, we could do it much, much better. Thank you very much.